On the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple stripe. Right. What's good, family? Okay, so goodness, man, I was like, bro, I ain't did no video in a while. Derrick Henry is a Raven. It took a while. I was, I was starting to lose hope, y'all. I, I was starting to lose some hope. I was just like, you know what? Saquon Barkley is the Eagle. Uh, Josh Jacob is uh, where he go to, wherever he went. <laughs> I was like, man, whatever. Where, where? I forgot. I can't even think where he went. But then I was like, okay, Henry's the only one left on my list. Then they kept saying reports. Ravens are offering like 6.5. I'm like, bro, y'all doing the cheap stuff again? Like, come on, dog. Then, I started seeing rumors of Derrick Henry and the Texans. Texans are interested as well as the Ravens. Then he got mutual, uh, Derrick Henry, his mutual interest with the Ravens. I'm like, Texans comes up. I'm like, oh, Lord. They got a young and up and coming great quarterback. And Stroud, and I'm like, Oh, no, no. But then, the Texans trade for Joe Mixon. And I'm like, okay. Okay. We we, we getting close. Let's take them out the way. It's only Ravens. And then some people kept talking about Cowboys. And I'm like, look. I stay out here in Texas. They ain't got no money. They have problems. Incoming. Huge problems. They can't afford. Uh, they, they can't do nothing. With uh, with Dak, they gotta pay Lamb. They gotta pay Micah. Oh, they in trouble. But Derrick Henry is a Raven. That is exciting news. Um, I'm Rappaport puts out the King is on the move. Sources say Ravens are expected to land Titan star running back. Derrick Henry, after attempting to trade for him a few times before signs, Baltimore signs him now. Now, when uh, we we knew they tried to trade him for him last year, uh, the owner of the Titans stopped that. And I'm like, bro, one thing I know, Eric DeCosta, he does a lot. He has shown signs of. If he wants that person or he try to draft them, or he try to trade for them, and they become a free agent, he's going to try to get them. Now, him being cheap, I don't know if that's him. I don't know if that's Steve Brashotti. But let's just say the Ravens overall, they be cheap. But Henry gets a two-year, $16 million deal worth up to $20 million with $9 million guaranteed. That's it. That's a that's a good deal right there. Now we get the chance to see Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry, Zay Flowers. What's up, baby? We get to see that. We get to see that. So this is gonna be good. Finally, it's finally done. It's finally over. Oh man, I got my my Giants fam. I said the Giant topic. So you, you you the fam got me hitting hitting me up. I'm I'm over here sweating. I was over here sweating. But yeah, I was just oh, all day yesterday. I'm sitting here working NFL Network. I really don't even pay attention to them like that. They sitting there talking. This person got side. This per Kirk Cousins goes to the Vikings. I mean Atlanta. That was stupid. Uh, Kirk Cousins goes to Atlanta. And it's like, bro, when is the Ravens going to do something? Then Ravens signed Harrison. And I'm like, okay. But that's not what we wanted to hear. Then the Ravens on top of that, they media putting out Justin Matabuki, Matabeast highlights and all this. And they on their little podcast. Bro, y'all know what we want to hear. 
Saquon is gone. Josh is gone. We want Henry. But we got him, y'all. We got him now. Lamar, Zay, Henry, they got to overcome some stupidity of Harbs. But hopefully that will happen. Henry, two-year deal, that's a balance to me. Now, will the Ravens draft a uh, running back? Okay, uh, they got Mitchell, but you know the Ravens like to have three running backs. So, uh, I think Justice Hill is a free agent. I'm not sure about that one. But possibly if he is, he probably come back anyway. But we got our all number one running back. We got Keenan Mitchell. And the reports were saying, hey, uh, Derrick Henry followed Jimmy's food, uh, sea, seafood. He followed Keaton Mitchell. And some people were trying to downplay it. They were actually hating. But I was like, that's, that's looking promising right there. That's looking promising. But I'm super excited for this news, y'all. Um, hopefully it's not over with their free agency. They still have to uh, uh, find out what they're going to do with Ty Bowser. They still have to go find out what they're going to do with Ronnie Stanley, uh, Marlon Humphrey, um, uh, Marcus Williams. There, there, there's some lot of big hits, a lot of big cap hits. And to me, uh, Ronnie Stanley is not worth it. Okay. Um, obviously Bowser. Bro got a whole freaking free Euro check. I was just saying, um, I, I believe I'm coming back. That's all he kept saying. I believe I'm coming back. Go go somewhere else with that. The Patrick Queen, I'm, I'm interested to see where he lands. Some people was making it up saying he landed in Seattle. That was not true. Word on the street is the Panthers are interested in him. I'm interested to see what happens with that since they traded Brian Burns. So this 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 off season is popping. You gotta give it to him. It is popping. But hey, got my number three running back. Now I want the the um, the Ravens to go offensive line, hopefully, and then defense get a cornerback because Marlon needs some help. Marlon to me should be back in the slot. To me, he played a little bit better right there. But hey, let's see what happens. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. And God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. Yeah. To the point if you met real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. The knob on 11 really turned up. Really turned up. Really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. The knob on 11, baby, turned up. Be knocked, let it hit you with the